This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. How about a $35 computer? How about a $25 computer? I'll take it. Yes. Well, you'll have to wait for it, right? They're a little backordered right now. We're talking about Raspberry Pi. If you haven't seen the web page, raspberrypi.org. Um, it's kind of amazing what people are doing with these. These are Linux PCs running an ARM 11 chip. Uh, they cost 25 or 35 bucks. People are using them to create, oh, look at that, smart glasses. They're using them to uh, run servers. They're using them, actually, essentially, what it's really supposed to be for it's a credit card. Kind of, English is such a hard language. This is essentially the entire computer, right? The, the, the fact says the Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized computer that plugs into your TV, either through HDMI or RCA, and a keyboard. You got a pair of USB jacks on the Model B here. Um, Quote, it is a capable little PC. It can be used for many of the things your desktop PC does, spreadsheets, word processing, games. It also plays high-definition video. We want to see it being used by kids all over the world to learn programming. 35 US dollars, 25 if you get the Model A version without Ethernet and a second USB port. This is the Model B version I'm holding up. It's been back-ordered for a long time, but they're starting to ship now, and you're no longer restricted to one per customer. So if you've been thinking about buying a Raspberry Pi and been frustrated, you go to the website, and they're like, register your interest. Well, it's pretty cool, right? So right at the heart of this thing, if I can actually point to it without frying the computer, um, it's a system on a chip, a Broadcom BCM2835, which is an ARM11 CPU running at like 700 megahertz, overclockable to 800 megahertz, and a quote video core 4 GPU. That means you can do Blu-ray quality playback, H.264 video at 40 megabits per second. It's got uh, 3D acceleration uh, using, I want to say the OpenGL ES 2.0 and OpenVG libraries. Basically, it'll run Linux, it'll run XBMC, the Xbox media console, but you're going to need a few things to get it running. So you basically get this little green board in your box. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're going no to need case, power. No case, no nothing. No case, no nothing. Apparently the next generation will have cases. You need uh, uh, power, micro USB cable, micro USB. Um, and a 700 milliamp sor source. Do not plug this into a PC. Do not try to power the the X. <laughs> Do not try to power your Raspberry Pi by plugging it into a USB port in your PC. You know, get, uh, well, I could pull the, the little charger out of the cord there to show you, but then it would turn off XBMC behind me. Um, you're going to need an SD card to load the operating system. You're going to need a keyboard and a mouse to get it set up. Uh, USB keyboard and mouse are pretty standard. And a monitor that takes uh, HDMI, which we talked about, or uh, HDMI over DVMI, or HBI, D, HDMI, DVI cable, or an RCA, a component cable, or composite cable. It's designed to use TVs, not component, composite. So. You're also going to need uh, Ethernet to get it connected up to the internet, at least if you're running XBMC the first time, which is right there. Uh, I haven't started on Wi-Fi myself, but I believe they're going to be compatible Wi-Fi USB adapters. Uh, I just haven't gotten that far along. You could run a Linux operating system. If you go to the raspberrypi.org website and you go to downloads, and there, where did it go? Ah. Raspbian Wheezy. <laughs> this is the image we recommend if you're just starting out. It's a reference root file system uh, based on the Raspbian optimized version of Debian. Essentially, it's uh, Debian with a bunch of development tools and uh, example source code for multimedia functions. So if you just want to boot Linux off of it and use it as like a desktop PC, that's the way to go. I'm rolling with the Rasp BMC, which is a customized version of XBMC designed for the Raspberry uh, board. You need some command line action to load it in OS X, but there's a really simple and easy installer. In Windows, basically, uh, you download the incredibly tiny program. You launch the Rasp BMC installer. If there was an SD card installed, I would be able to pick the SD card here and hit install. And a few minutes later, you pull your SD card out, you pull your SD card and pop it into the board here, and you need it basically, you need the SD, <laughs> pull the power out. <laughs> put the SD card in, put the power back in, um, and it will connect uh, to the internet and download the rest of the files it needs to configure itself automatically. Okay, um, so you need to unplug the power source? Yeah, don't. <laughs> you, you may be able to plug the SD card in while it's powered, but I'm not brave enough to try yet. Gotcha. Um, audio over HDMI is supported. It's really simple. Um, once you plug the SD card into your uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, plug in the power, you should already have it connected up to a TV using one of these jacks. Uh, it'll finish and solve XBMC. You basically have your own DIY streaming console, which is the Xbox Media Center. Um, so I basically have the Xbox Media Center. I think like the only thing I have running right now probably is the weather. So this is the equivalent of like, in terms of power, this has better graphics than a first generation Xbox, but CPU power wise, it's very comparable to a first generation Xbox, I am told. Um, 
Next up, I'm going to be getting a remote working with the Raspberry Pi, downloading add-ons to customize XBMC, get video streaming. But basically, you have a nice interface on a $25, $35 box, and you can kind of build your own set-top box. I but love I it. I think for me, the next step is going to be getting the remote control running. It'd be fun to make a little case for it, too. I'd like yes. to see what kind of cases people make for that. A them. lot of people are doing custom wood cases. People yeah. are, are building, using 3D printers to make cases for them. So does it's, it does it get too hot? Or I mean, there's obviously no kind of no fan on there, but I guess I, it's I, all it doesn't open, really not I mean, heating up much. It's also not doing much right yeah. now. So maybe if I get it to play some video, it'll get more exciting. Oh, is that a Revision 3 add-on? Oh, look at that. We'll talk about that <laughs> the next time we take a look at Raspberry Pi. What Another question: If you if you are mm -hmm. using the um, composite cables, what what's the deal for audio out? Uh, there's an audio out. That's jack. the audio out jack there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's a stereo audio out. So you can plug headphones into it, nice. or you can plug it into an amplifier. Very cool. Yeah, it's 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 fun and it's cheap, so you can start playing around with it and. Uh, not have to worry too much because it's a 35 25 25 dollar board again comes with one USB port and no ethernet jack 35 dollar board has two USB plugs and an ethernet jack relatively low risk yes. all right we've got more Texella coming right up but before we do that it's time to thank one of our sponsors you need a .com for any new website or blog you set up. A .com domain name is instantly recognizable and globally understood. It adds instant credibility to any website no matter what name you choose. And there's no better place to get a .com than Domain.com. It's the best place to go for your next great idea. And Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a fun place to do business. We have an awesome coupon code with a big 20% discount off of Domain.com's already low prices. Normally, Domain.com has 15% discounts, but since they're back on Techzilla, they're bumping up our coupon code to 20% off for a limited time. Please, use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. That is 20% off, folks. Big time savings. Don't forget, give the Techzilla coupon code some love. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. And that is a .com.